What's going on, guys? Got another uh, finished project. First one of the year. To Ravel 68 Chevelle SS 396. Uh, apologize, I didn't do any uh, videos on it. Uh, just uh, the only video I did is when I got it. I did a open box review. And uh, that just got started on this thing and it just fell together and uh, there it is. Outstanding kit. Very, very nice. I mean, it just goes together uh, extremely well. Uh, no issues whatsoever. I uh, really enjoyed uh, putting this one together. I think it turned out pretty good. When I got a little bit of dirt in the clear, I mean, I, I tried and tried, but I still managed to get dirt in it occasionally. And uh, I didn't, I didn't uh, sand it up, polish it up, anything like that. Um, sure, if I would do that, it would be nice and smooth. But I just, I just wanted to get this thing together and just see it, see it together. Uh, so I'm very happy with it. Um, let's take a look at the engine. Look at that, uh, 396 in there. Did a little detail painting in there. Well, with, uh, black interior. Got some nice uh, decals there in the dash, but it's kind of hard to see. I did get a little booger up there on the window. Um, I used uh, the liquid chrome for the trim and uh, thought it was dry enough, and I went to put the window in, and, well, wouldn't you know, it wasn't. Uh, so i got to go back and try to get that cleaned up. Take a look at the underneath here. Nice clean chassis. This one kind of looks like it was just freshly restored. Now I wanted to use the the decals, the little stripe decals there you can see. Uh, and I wanted to put the white ones on it. And I had them on here. I had the one on the back, uh, the quarter panel there. And this one here on the Going down the side of the uh, the quarter panel and door and fender. I had one hell of a time with it. Um, it I just could not get that thing to lay right. Um, I, I tried a couple of times and end up I ripped a damn decal. And uh, it just... I just said, you know what, the hell with it. I'm, I'm not even going to fight it. Uh, I could have used the black ones, but I like the look of the white stripe better. Um, and I didn't, I, I didn't want to put the black on the bottom, uh, how like the one the box art is, you can see the lower part is, uh, down here at the bottom of the fender and, and, and such is all black. I, I don't want to do that. I just kind of like the, the look of the solid red. Uh, you got the, uh, the chrome molding strip there on the bottom. And then with that white stripe, I thought it would look pretty good. And like I said, I ruined the, uh, ruined the decal. So... You know, uh, I do got a couple more of these. Uh, I gotta go pick up uh, when I when I get them. Uh, I'll put the stripe on it. Now you'll notice if you if you remember in the uh, review I did, some of you guys noticed the uh, little corner back here was missing, and that was for. Uh, some guys ask about, you know, was a possibility of a 69 in the future. And from what I heard, yes. But I didn't like the look of the little seam there. So I did uh, just a little bit of filler, and uh, it took care of it. I mean, you could, you know, just looking in the glare there. 
And I'll be damned. You can just see just a hint of it. I guess I didn't do a very good job of uh, filling it in. But I guess it's better than... Uh, this is not that noticeable. I mean, it's better than you know, just seeing that little seam there. But it does fit nicely. Um, you can see the back of the quarter panel there. You can see where that seam is. Now, it's not too bad. I mean, I tried. It's not very successful at it, but oh well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a great kit. It goes together really, really well. Uh, everything fit together perfectly. Uh, the bumpers, I didn't glue them in. Uh, the only thing I did was, um, the only thing I glued was, there's a little filler in between the, the grill and the bumper. I glued, you put the, uh, the little filler, uh, you glue it onto the grill, and then I glued the grill or the bumper to that little filler and then I just pushed it in place fitting there like perfectly back bumper is just one solid piece you put the tail lights in I just pushed that in place <laughs> I didn't even glue it not even gonna bother with it but there it is guys there's the uh, the all-new 68 Chevelle awesome kit